Hi there, and welcome back to Galacticraft Let's Play series. Uh, this is episode 21, and um, we're here at Alpha Base still, and uh, in this episode, we're actually going to start making some space stuff. Gasp, I know. Um, so, for going to space, we need some key things to stay alive. So, we're going to need oxygen gear and oxygen helmet. Or mask a parachute and you don't need but it's nice to have uh, the let's just open up the mod thing here it's probably easier the frequency modulator uh, which allows you to hear in space so that's what we're gonna get going with first um, and then we'll move on to the machines that we need to build so that's kind of all these things and then of course a lot of the time we're actually going to need we're going to actually need some um weird we're going to need probably twice of everything because we're going to need Machines for down here, and we're going to need machines for on the moon. So let's get going with the um, gear that I need for to keep stay alive. So we're here in my storage room, and uh, let's get going. It's uh, fairly easy. The mask only requires glass and an iron helmet. So uh, let's get some iron. And uh, ah, I have some pains as well. Excellent. So first we need an iron helmet. And we surround that with glass panes. <clears throat> Oxygen mask. Done. So we can put that on there. And now I have an oxygen mask. So next up is oxygen gear. So this attaches to the helmet and um, or the mask and connects your tanks. So, uh, this needs oxygen pipes, five of them, and an oxygen concentrator. Which is a bit more difficult to make. I actually have... I thought I had some tin cans. Maybe I don't. Um, tin canisters is tin in the U. That's easy. Tin canisters, uh, compressed tin, compressed steel. Okay, I'm gonna have to compress some steel and some tin. And then we also need oxygen pipes, which is just glass panes. And I think I might need to get some more glass. So I have a load of sand, so let's make a load of glass because I'm sure I'm gonna need a lot of it. Still smelting stuff. That should be enough compressed steel and some tin now as well. So that only gives four, and I need five, and I'll probably need a lot more anyway. Steel and tin. So I need a lot more. So I'll be back in a second. So I have my compressed tin, compressed steel, and I have some glass now. So uh, let's just make some more 
Kings. Wow, I can't remember how to make pains. It's that, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so that should be enough to make my oxygen gear now. So, first, oh, no. I need an oxygen vent. And then the rest should fall into place. And there we go. So now I have my oxygen gear. Done. So now I'm gonna need at least two oxygen tanks. But, um... I'm gonna go with th four. So I need some red wool. So I need some red dye. Uh, I should have some flowers. I do not. Right, I'm gonna have to go pick some flares. Um, so let's build the uh, frequency modulator instead. So I need a compressed aluminium. I should have one spare here. Basic wafer, compressed iron. Oh, I need some compressed iron. Sorry, compressor. And I will also need... Basic wafer, I have one of those. Red sun repeater. Need some redstone and some sticks. And ah, wafer. I think I put some in here. Yep, there we go. And there we go, frequency modulator. Our frequency module. And I'm also gonna need a parachute. Uh, we'll just get a regular parachute. So I need canvas, canvas is sticks and string. Lots of string. Um, I don't have a huge amount of string. I do have some wool though, so we'll go pulverize the wool again. That should be enough. So stick, stick, string, gives me canvas, I need a lot more than that. Haha, <laughs> you see the frequency module oh, there. That's pretty cool. Okay, um... Actually, I'm pretty certain that's enough. We can always reassemble the string. It's a lossless process anyway. Uh, 
and parachutes. Awesome. And uh, we'll just reassemble that as to wall. So the parachute goes in there. Okay, so let me just go get some roses somewhere and uh, I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back with my uh, rose and we can get lots of uh, dye here. So for oxygen tanks, I mean, I may as well go with the heavy ones. It's almost nothing more. So I need three compressed steel by four. So I need 12. I need 12 tin cans and I need 12 wool. So 12 wool, I have 3 tin cans, I need 12, there we go, and then I need 12 compressed steel, so yeah, I have enough. So 4 tin oxygen tanks. Obviously they're useless though, because they have no air in them, and that's where we're going next. Okay, so... That's all my gear that I need. So the next step, of course, is to make the other things that we need to fill these. So I'll be back in a minute once I clean up my inventory a bit. Okay, so next we're going to actually get our launch pad ready to go, uh, which is incredibly easy to make. But uh, we're going to actually need two of these. So make sure we have enough iron so we need nine launch pads to make a launch proper full-size launch pad so we just need two of these because each gives you nine huh easy um, so two and then compressed iron there we go Hello, Pigman. So I'm going to put half of them in here, and this is going to be my chest of things that I need to take with me. Uh, I'll put these oxygen tanks in here for now, but um, they're not full yet. I want to fill them up. And uh, let's set up my launch pad on this area here. And it should... There you go. Go away, zombie Pigman. Oh, and a spider falling through the ceiling. Interesting. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. That was silly of me. Oh, you know what? It's yeah, I must put some lights up there because it's So there's the launch pad and then you have to connect up this fuel loader to go there. Um so we might do that now. Just so it needs power and it needs fuel. So we're going to get some more pipes here. And I'll drop off this stuff that I just got from killing those people. And liquid pipes, fluid pipes, and I also want a lever. Mm. 
now we want to be careful because I think behind of that there is the yeah so let's go in liquids coming in this way cool so we'll just do that that and I'm fairly certain stuff can spawn in here so let's just make it so they can't got the fuel coming in and actually let's just make that a bit nicer <coughs> I have some of these Hello, pigman. Would you mind moving? Or I might just kill you. So then we need power as well. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. Now, the Galactocraft um, power uh, machines don't seem to want to use the universal cable. But you can transfer between them using the power cube. Um, so I made an extra couple of these just so I could be able to do that. So, I have a power cable down there, and I might bring it across into the wall and back out of the wall. Um, yeah, sure, I'll just put it like that anyway for now. There we go. So we'll have it coming in here and then down. And we can actually use the universal one instead because they're cheaper to make because I don't have a crap ton of wool. Take a line out of here and uh, I might actually go down one. Boom. Fuel loader is powered. So that's ready to go, fully powered and uh, pretty much all there. 
So that's the launch pad ready to go. Um, and we have another launch pad here for up in space. And obviously I'm gonna have to make another fuel loader. And some way of getting, well, I'll probably just bring a load of fuel with me. Probably makes most sense. Okay, so uh, let's go to the next bit. So we're actually at the wrap up point now, so I'm gonna leave it there. And uh, in the next episode, we'll start making the um, oxygen uh, requirements that we need. So we need compressors, collectors, sealers, whatever else, detectors, we don't need a detector. Um, yeah, so uh, until next time, I will see you later.